Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about the online courses we offer. As those of you who watch this channel quite a lot will know, I often focus on fixed expressions and one of the interesting things for me about a lot of fixed expressions is the way that they retain cultural elements that in many other ways have basically died out. In English, there are lots of ways of saying that you think someone has a lot of money. For example, you might say that you think someone must be loaded or minted or that they're rolling in money or that they're filthy rich. I'll give you another example that connects to my earlier comment. Yesterday, I was chatting to a young neighbour of mine about a guy who's moved in over the road from us. And I asked if she'd met him yet, and she said, no, not yet. I haven't met him yet either. But, she added, have you seen the car he's got parked outside his house? He's clearly not short of a few bob. If you say that someone's not short of a few bob, or that they must have a bob or two in the bank, you basically mean that you think they're very wealthy. The interesting part about this is that a bob is an old-fashioned word for what used to be a shilling, and a shilling was 12 old pence. You might not realise, but England only converted to decimalisation in 1971, when I was two years old. And before then, we didn't have a hundred pennies in the pound. We had 240 old pennies in the pound. And we used to have coins like a shilling piece or a bob, 12 old pennies. So this phrase, not short of a few bob, it is a hangover from those old days. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Please do share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues, and in the comments section below. We'd love to see examples of how you might use not short of a few bob.